Hey friends, it's Laura, welcome back. So um, I wanted to start off this video with just kind of an update on the Sharpie S-Note markers that I got. Um, I still like them. I don't think they're the greatest for coloring. Um, let me show you what I've done. I did the flowers and the cherries in gel pen. Um, and I did the background of the cherries in the S-Notes. And you can tell they're very streaky. Um, they're very highlightery. Um, I'm not mad at it. I think it looks nice, but they are very, um, very streaky. And then I did another page with them and you can tell like in the lighter colors especially that they're very um, streaky. In the brighter colors and in the darker colors you don't notice it as much. Um, I'll still use them as, as coloring markers but I'll definitely probably you know veer towards using them more in my planner um, I think they'd be good for that. And that was part of why I got them too, because I wanted to use them in my, in my planner. So I think overall, I'm, I'm still happy with my purchase, but I just wanted to let you know that this is what they look like, you know, in use. So that's that. Um, move some of this stuff away. Today we're going to work on Enchanted Forest. We're going to work on that page we worked on last time. Oops. This one. I don't think I was using a blotter page. Okay, ignore my sticky note, right? Oh, you can't see my sticky note, that's great. Got a sticky note here as a reminder to do something. You can see it right here a little bit. So, where are we? Let's do trunk of this tree. Let's get into the browns. Let's grab my, this paper is pretty well done. I think we need a new piece of paper. Um, let's just work on this. What brown should we use? Then we'll get into chatting. I have to excuse my thumb. It's got a poorly wrapped band-aid on it. It won't stick. Because it's not a good band-aid. What about cinnamon? Let's sharpen cinnamon first. How is everyone doing?
little update to my last video. I think my last video I talked about um, uh, making tote bags to sell, and I still am still working on the pattern. The pattern is going to be different though. I thought the pattern was going to be a pattern to go around a tote bag. It's not. It's going to go, the pattern is going to be just a tote bag, a crochet tote bag. And then the ones I sell are going to go around tote bags, the ready-made ones. It's just the only way I could work out to do it so that everybody's turned out the same. And, you know, the ones, the ones that I'll be selling the pattern for, they do, hang on, my mouse is moving around. Um, they do stretch out when you put stuff in them. So I recommend, you know, putting lightweight stuff in them. If you were to make the pattern, they're great for yarn. Just a second. Okay. I didn't mean to make it sound last time like, like you just couldn't put anything in those bags. You can. I've used them for lots of things. But, you know, the heavier the item you put in, the more it stretches out. So you do need to be careful. You know, they're good for a book and a sweater. or a few groceries. You know, I wouldn't put like a bag of sugar in there. Or something like that or you know like a couple gallons of milk but you know for lightweight things I think they're fine My plan is to make multiple bag patterns and sell them as digital downloads and then start selling them as 
physical physical bags as well for those who don't know how to crochet or for those who just don't want to um, make the pattern. Still on the first prototype. I'm almost done with it. Then I need to make it again um, and make sure that you know I I got all of the um, I got all the kinks out of the pattern. Okay, let's move on to something different besides this tree. Let's move on to, I don't know, what should we move on to? this tree over here. Maybe this tree. Which one of these trees should be green? This tree should be green. Let's go back to the greens. Let's make it a darker green. Basil green and let's try this out right here. Basil green and that green, yeah. We sharpen these off to the side here. Now these Arteza pencils, I'm pretty sure these are the set of 120. Back when they made a set of 120. I don't think they do anymore. This is a set of the original 72 plus whatever ones made up the set of 120. Um, so when some of these run out, They run out. I don't have refills. It's kind of a scratchy pencil. grab this now that we're on this side grab this so I can you know, hit the next page
that's been really bothering me lately. Like what I talked about in another video. One of the side effects of one of the medications I'm on, my eyes moving back and forth when I'm coloring. Really bothersome and I hadn't noticed it for quite a while because I wasn't coloring but now that I'm back into coloring I'm noticing it more I have had it looked at before and it's not, it's not anything. Probably because every time I've had it checked out, I haven't been able to replicate it. Um, while I'm at a doctor. So first we thought it was, what is that one disorder called? Not astigmatism, I have that too, but, um, Sounds really similar to astigmatism, but it's not. Give me one second. Don't want to give you guys the wrong name. Hmm. Now I can't find it. Oh, nystagmus. Which are uncontrolled eye movements. And they thought maybe that's what I had. Um, but since it wasn't happening you know, all the time. Um, It wasn't, it wasn't considered a candidate. Um, you know, now I know after years of kind of working it out that it only happens when I'm writing or coloring. It's an eye-hand coordination thing. Um, And it only happens when I'm looking down. 
I guess it only happens when I'm looking down. I haven't tried coloring or writing looking in front of me. So whatever it is, it's bothersome and it just kind of is what it is. Another bothersome part about all those appointments was the doctor that I kept seeing. And I saw him for other things later on too. Um, I had blurry vision in my eye a year or two ago. And we were all very worried it was a tumor or something and it was it was a big ordeal and um, I saw the same doctor again because he's a specialist in a bunch of eye related things but he's also a pediatric um, eye specialist and I would go in there with my mom because my mom usually comes to my appointments with me to help me remember whatever the doctor says because I have memory problems due to the medications that I take um, but apparently having someone go in with you just automatically means that you are incapable, you the patient are incapable of handling your own health care. And should be completely ignored. And the person who came in with you should be talked to. And that happened all the times I went in to talk with him. And at some point I just wanted to say, excuse me, sir, I'm over here. Because like, he just wasn't talking to me. And at some point we just decided it was because he's used to talking to the, to the parent because he's a pediatric specialist. I just found it incredibly rude and it's, it's not only been him it's been multiple other doctors as well that I've seen over the years that I've brought my mom in with me um, to help me remember what's going on the details and I've been ignored and she's been talked to. That's a bummer. Like being treated like you're a child. Just because you need assistance with things that maybe other adults wouldn't need assistance with. And like, you know, bringing someone in to you with an appointment is not like uncommon. I see it in magazines all the time, it telling you that 
you know, if it's, if it's an important appointment and you're prone to forgetting or you're anxious, you know, you should bring someone with you who can remember more details than you can. It's so, like, I don't... That's what the big deal is. Okay, this tree is coming together. I don't want to make it sound like my eyes are just like moving around all the time. They're not. It's just, it's occasional and it's disruptive. I'm kind of uncomfortable. Anything making a difference? Yeah, I guess it is. I'll take a drink of water, stay hydrated. Everybody's hydration reminder. I was just at Michael's and I, I can't remember whose channel I saw this on so I, can't, I don't know who to give credit to it was a random channel that I've not seen before you know for me it was a random channel uh, it was a crochet channel and she was talking about Um, certain Karen cinnamon swirl cakes and certain I think it was the skinny cakes being on sale at Michael's um, so I went and looked online and it told me that just a couple of the cinnamon swirl cakes were on were on sale, so I went to my Michaels. We, we, I happened to be out there. I wasn't gonna make a special trip for it, so I just bought some yarn. But we happened to be out there, and I asked if we could just like take it to take a quick detour, and they were like, yeah. So we went out there and. grabbed two cakes can't remember which hang on hang on don't move okay I'm back I got these are the two cakes that were on sale out of all the cinnamon roll cakes um, cherry punch and citrus twist. All of them. I, I, I tried all of them on the scanner. And these were the two at my Michaels that were on sale. And um, they were on sale for $5. As opposed to their normal price of $12.99, I think. $12.99. So it was a good deal. I'm not, not a huge fan of the citrus twist, but I'm gonna make it into a bag to sell. So that's that's okay. 
I do like this one and I wish I had gotten more of this one. The um, Cherry Punch. But, you know, whatever. I'm not going back. Unless I'm going to be out there, I'm not going back. So, because um, it, takes, it takes a lot of gas to get out there. We don't live super, super close. So, um, I'm not going to spend gas just to get out there and get some more of these. So, I got two happy with them. Then I had a, um, here it is. I thought I lost my pencil. Um, I had a, um, a $5 rewards. So that those two ended up being like, I don't know, six something with tax. It was a good deal. Happy I got them. Then I went and tried a bunch of like the other cakes, like the blossom cakes, just to be sure. So I, I really wished that some of the blossom cakes were on sale, but they weren't. And I didn't need any of the skinny cakes because my pattern that I'm working on calls for a worsted weight, or weight four yarn. And I think the skinny cakes is weight three. We're at the end of this tree leaves. Okay. Didn't press through too much, did it? Oh, a little bit. It's okay. Go ahead and put these two pencils back. I'm trying to put pencils back as I go so I don't end up with, you know, a huge amount of pencils laying around. Um, let's do the trunk. That was a cinnamon. Let's do this one. This is hazelnut brown. I'm gonna sharpen it. So I went to the Dollar Tree the other day. I don't know if I talked about this already, so if I did, I apologize. I went to the Dollar Tree, got a few things. Did not have what the main reason I was going there for, but I am. Um, I realized my Dollar Tree suddenly started carrying some of the Dollar Plus items. I think that's what they're called. You know, like the $2 to $5 stuff. I was really excited because my Dollar Tree hasn't carried any of that stuff yet. We have a small Dollar Tree. It's not very big at all. Um, but I did get a trash can. It's not really supposed to be a trash can. It's just supposed to be like a tote. Um, but it's narrower than my trash can. So 
hopefully I won't keep hitting it as much under my desk and so it's plastic so it, it won't make as much noise because my other trash can is metal. So I'm excited about that. It was only like three dollars. And the one's almost very similar, very similar looking that I was looking at on Amazon were like fifteen. So that was a nice find. Two little fairy houses, because that's all they had left. A pair of gardening gloves with butterflies on them. If you didn't know, butterflies are my favorite. There's that tree. I think I want to do this tree with purple leaves. Not like super bright purple. needs to be sharpened though. It's hard to grab the sharpener with this band-aid. Okay. We're not gonna shade these leaves, we're just gonna color them in. How good are we on time? Uh, we're getting there. Today is Sunday.
hopefully my dad's gonna help me hook up with my new shower head. Okay, we're done with that. What color do we wanna do the wood for that tree? Just use that brown. We just use that brown. That brown's good. But it needs to be sharpened. I saw that Crayola has a set of pencils now that's, I think it was 120, that's their biggest set. But one day I might have to get those. We'll see. I don't use Crayola a lot. Okay, so I think we'll finish this tree and then we'll call it good because we're getting up there in, in minutes. I'm running out of things to say. I don't know how people just do these long videos and just keep talking and talking. I think it's that I'm just not used to talking. I don't talk a lot during the day. I was considering doing, I'll tell you about my, what I was considering doing, but I think I'm going to hold off. I was considering buying a heat press, like a Cricut heat press, and making tote bags to sell. But I think I'm going to hold off on that.
just seems like I'm rushing into things and I just want to take my time and, you know, complete one venture at a time and, you know, not get too caught up and spend too much money as I'm prone to do. Okay, purple tree, you know, maybe I should just go back and add a little bit of shading in the purple leaves, like with this. Let me sharpen this pencil. So I've done shading in like every other leaf. I feel like those leaves deserve a little shading too. Yeah, just a little bit. There's not too many leaves here. That won't take very long. This looks good. And anyway, about those cakes, those Karen Simmons roll cakes, I recommend if you're looking to get them for $5, you look on your app and for your, your location and go through each color. Um, and see which ones are on sale for five dollars and see if they are in stock at your location before you go out and you know be disappointed or anything okay that looks better okay we did a lot today we got we made a lot of progress um, You know, like in this one, I did a lot of shading, like in the, like this one. I guess it was that one. There weren't any trees in this one, though. I don't know if I should go back and shade the tree trunks. I don't know if I really want to have to deal with that. So we'll see. We'll see. I do need to put something in the middle of these leaves. Maybe gold or something. But for now, I think we're done. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Um, we will reconvene at a later date, probably tomorrow, um, and maybe get in some more crochet. I know I've been doing a lot of coloring lately. It's just been soothing for me. Um, I know it doesn't get nearly as many views, um, but it's just been relaxing, and sometimes you just need relaxing, right? So, I don't know. We'll see what we'll do next. But for now, everyone take care and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.